What's going on everyone and welcome to Coffee Break Tuesday. Rob here and today we're talking about books and how they can change you, but only if you allow it. Let's be I was reading a book I disagreed with the other day, which is a very hard thing to do when you allow your ego to read along with you. It hijacks the narrative, puts you as the expert, and the words of the book become meaningless. I catch myself doing this from time to time, and I must ask myself, do you truly have an open mind? Am I reading to discover, or am I reading to validate? Why am I not comfortable attacking my convictions and challenging my views of the world? Some authors are better at rousing your emotions than others, and I struggled with this a good deal when I was younger. As soon as I came across something I politically or spiritually did not agree with, I would stop. I was conditioned to challenge instead of think, let passion take control of my reason. Glued to my own ideas of what was right and wrong with no consideration that I might not be correct. Maturity eventually makes you ask the meaningful questions in life, and a very enlightening question is this. One of the most mature and basic questions that has the potential to change your life. What if I'm wrong? What if what I think is correct or right is not the case? What if my education, my surrounding, my teachers have steered me in a direction that is opposite, that of truth? When you step out of Plato's cave, you are stepping beyond your prior understanding of what is. When you read, you are stepping into the world of someone else who lived in a reality similar but completely different than you. You can judge them, destroy their narrative, tear the pages out of Marx's book if you do not like it, but you cannot progress until you digest. Do you want to take reading seriously or do you want to just reaffirm your biases and ideas you already know? This is an important point to decide upon before you pick up a book. Now there are a few books that have shaken the foundation on which I stand. And I remember thinking, if I took a jackhammer to the moral foundation I was raised upon, would I have the ability with what I know right now to build anything similar or better? Now we hear that question and immediately ego steps up. Surely you think you could develop something better than what is already in place. But I believe it would be a much harder task than anyone can imagine. Well, let's go back to absorbing what you read. If you are not willing to absorb all perspectives, you have no chance of finding the light of truth. Truth is best found when ego is pushed aside and the mind is open to what is truly illuminated before you. You do not have to agree with every point or even like the ideas that someone else has. Sometimes the environment in which you grew up will not allow you to fully understand a book unless you open your mind up to it. Malcolm X's autobiography is a a great example. It took me a long time to finally pick it up, and I'm glad I did. I do not agree with him on everything by any means, but it made me realize that we often judge the outcome without taking into consideration the environment in which the person was created. To understand Malcolm X, you have to understand his childhood. Mein Kampf was another book. I was hesitant to explore it because of the stigma surrounding it, and rightfully so. The words mean little, and the book sounds crazy when you are reading from a state of surplus, plenty, and no fear of external pressures. But this book, if you read during the Depression, food shortages, famine, and war, enemies are often created in times of struggle, and ooh, that is why keeping the peace and unity is so important. You must read from different perspectives. Jump into the skin of someone else the political and environmental conditions of someone else's time, their anger, the passions of their moment. You must be able to step back into the cave, as Plato puts it, and see the images that Malcolm X was seeing, the world that Thomas Jefferson was living in. But you better have the self-control to step back out into the light and not allow yourself to get trapped in the dogma, hate, and prejudice of the time. Do I have an open mind? Am I reading to validate or am I reading to discover? This is not a right or wrong way to read video. It's just simply a video to make you think. Read to enjoy. Read to learn. Read to pass the time. Read however you want. This is just something I struggled with long ago, and I figured I would share. Good luck out there reading, and thank you so much for watching. If you like these types of videos, please subscribe. My coffee is always linked in the description below. You can use the code the cause for 15% off your first order. I will be leaving on vacation tomorrow, so the roastery will be closed for two weeks. Any orders in that period will be roasted and shipped out upon my return. Read the great books, drink some amazing coffee, and I will see you very, very soon. I love you all. Stay blessed.